I'm trying to stay on course. We have a big interview tonight, part two of an interview we did last uh, week uh, with an ex-church member making misconduct allegations against their former pastor. Um, Part two of that is tonight at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. Hey, Miss Sislo. If y'all missed the interview I did with Miss Sislo, my moderator, she has a YouTube channel too. So make sure you uh, subscribe to her channel. She's a very, I love her content. Um, and she's a cook. She does a lot of cooking on live too. But if y'all missed the interview that I had with Miss Sislo, people have been talking about it ever since the interview. Now, the interview I had with Miss Sislo, she used to be a first lady. She's in the chat right now. She used to be a first lady and she was married to a pastor and it was all kind of infidelity and just just all all kind of stuff going on. And he was a pastor and she was the first lady. He tried to move women in the house with them and everything. If y'all missed that interview the other night, y'all missed a good show. So make sure y'all check that out. And also, if y'all got time, if y'all ain't got nothing better to do tonight, tune in for our next interview tonight because we still is on our church hurt and uh, spiritual abuse uh, series. So we got like two more shows after that to complete the series for now. Who knows what'll happen next? But anywho, anywho, speaking of churches, because the interview that we have tonight and the one we had last week about the misconduct with the um, ex-member of a church, that has to do with a church that a lot of people in our community looks at as a cult. So maybe that's why I'm enjoying this show, Ruthless, so much. A lot of people um, don't can't follow this show or they don't like the show or they think it's just too much. Like, Tyler Perry fell and bumped his head with this one, but I got to give it to you, Tyler. I love it. (laughs) So let's jump right into this and make sure um, y'all put down in the chat your comments, you know, about the show, everything that we've seen and heard and witnessed so far. We are now on episode nine and it was called To Be Chosen. To Be Chosen. Um, Let me just start off with saying, Daikon... um, Last episode, I, I guess I was confused at the end because I could have sworn Daikon and that was Cynthia coming down the stairs, but I, I don't know. I, I don't know what I was thinking at the end of last episode, but he had paid a visit to Sarah to let her know that her hubby, uh, Andrew, he, who has been working undercover with the FBI at the cult because they try, they heard about all these allegations of abuse and torture and um, just all type of misconduct. And so Andrew has been working undercover with the FBI, and we all know that he ain't been heard from in months. His wife ain't heard from him. Then one day she wakes up and goes to pay some bills. And all their bank accounts have been depleted. So she has been stressed out over her husband, Andrew. So she ran up to the coat, tried to find out what's going on. He basically told her to take your butt home, carry your tail home, because you're going to, you know, make the uh, the coat find out. He Basically, she's going to bust his operation. 
<laughs> she gonna ruin his operation. But now I'm like, is he really under operation? I'm confused. Now, if y'all ain't part of our uh, Facebook group, make sure y'all join our Facebook group called Ruthless. I got two Facebook groups, one for the hood table, which you can join too if you want. But Ruthless is just about Ruthless. So that that uh, Facebook group, I'm going to drop the link in there because we be talking about and having discussions about Ruthless. And one of the comments that somebody had posted in there was, they is as confused about Andrew as I am. So y'all need to let me know how y'all feel. Do y'all think Andrew has completely been turned? Do y'all think the operation is over? <laughs> are, are they going to have to send somebody else undercover to help the one that initially went undercover? Because from what Daikon is saying, um, he ain't coming back. <laughs> he ain't coming back. And Sarah, she's like, uh-uh, I love him. He loves me. We have children. He gots to come back. You got it all wrong, Daikon. You got it all wrong. But when he showed her that photograph, now, I don't know exactly what was on the photograph, but I got an idea that it was probably the highest with, I don't know. Do y'all think it was the highest with Daikon or was it with, I mean, do you think Andrew was with Daikon or the highest? Because I thought he was with the highest because he was in the room with the highest when the highest was telling him he had to seed him and all that kind of stuff. But... I don't know. I'm a little confused because I'm like, after Daikon told Lynn, okay, you know what? Well, we're going we gonna to stay on, we, let's stay on this for a minute. <laughs> let's stay on this for a minute. I don't want everybody to be like, oh, we're jumping around, we're jumping around, but I can't help it because it's like, the show is like all over the place. You love this show too? Me too, Miss Cislo. The, the show be having me going. I'll be like, Child, what's gonna happen now? But anyway, um, okay. So Daikon, he showed her the photograph. She was totally disgusted. She was totally devastated. I'm like, is Andrew really gay, or is he gay for pay? Is he really gay, or do y'all think he's gay for pay? And when I say for pay, I don't mean for money, but like he's still trying to play this role as if everything he's doing is for a much bigger purpose, like rescuing the kids from the cult. What do y'all think? Y'all got to let me know now. Y'all got to let me know because y'all know I be, if y'all been following me for years <laughs> on both of my YouTube channels, y'all know sometimes I be reaching on a limb. I be reaching and sometimes I be right though. Actually, most of the time I be right. But in this case, I'm, I, I'm not too sure. So y'all let me know if y'all think that Andrew has completely been turned and that he ruined the investigation or the operation and he now needs to be rescued because after sarah found out all that information from daikon and she saw those photographs which she think is real she called mac which is uh over andrew and um over andrew and uh brian their supervisor or whatever um their commander whatever you want to call them but she called him over expeditiously in the middle of the night to tell him about the photograph and everything. And Mac thinks that it might be somebody just, you know, put something together. It's photoshopped, photo, you know, that they just made it appear like Andrew was having, uh-uh. Sarah said, nope. <laughs> you can photoshop a lot of things. But she said you cannot photoshop his expression on his face. Now, again, I ask, is he really turned because, okay, okay, let's, let's say, let's say Andrew has sex with the highest daikon, whoever up there, and he really didn't want to do it. And Lynn, I mean, not Lynn, Sarah's talking about his expression on his face is the same expression she knows when he's really enjoying himself with her. So it kind of makes it sound like Andrew is enjoying himself up there, or he's enjoying somebody other than Tally. <laughs> so <laughs> so y'all let me know. What's up, Michael? <laughs> you said I think he was in too deep and he's getting sucked. He's getting sucked into something, or something's getting sucked into him. <laughs> 
no pun intended. No, <laughs> that was all pun intended, y'all. That was all pun intended. You said, oh, now this is one show. I wish you had the streamline. Oh, oh you want me to drop the streamline? You want to get on the show? Now, you know, I can't spend a lot of time if you jump on the live because our, our uh, big interview is at eight. But if you want me to drop the link, you can jump on the screen with me and discuss it. Anybody else want to jump on the screen with your girl? You said, don't forget to like the video. Yes, please like the video. Hold on. Let me drop the link. Y'all know I always offer the link. <clears throat> Y'all, I, 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 I don't mind. I don't mind. Hey, hey, okay, there's the link. Anybody want to jump on the screen with me to discuss this with me in person? Just hit that link. But um, I don't know about this daikon. These men up here, they can seed it and plant it and cleansed and all kind of stuff up at this coat. And I can't tell if they enjoying it or not. Well, all upset, all upset. Okay, the highest. We know he's enjoying it, obviously. He's enjoying all those men. And all those men are cute. They handsome. They sexy. I'm Daikon. He, who y'all know, I, well, <laughs> maybe not all of y'all, but some of y'all know I love me some chocolate men. So mm -mm, give me a chocolate man. I go crazy. Yeah, I dropped, I dropped the link. Go ahead. <clears throat> Grab the link and jump on the stream. But um, what else I want to talk about? Oh, oh. Okay, okay, okay. What about when Daikon, when he noticed that the window near roof side of her trailer, you know, where she sleeps was open? He had to snoop around because I think he had uh, suspected that something was up because, for one, Andrew was walking around in the middle of the night near their trailer, and he had to snoop around to make sure, you know, everything was everything. But the bigger question is, the bigger question that I want to know, I want to ask all y'all, do y'all think Daikon likes to be with men and women? That's still the biggest question of the hour. Does Daikon really like being with men and being with women? Y'all need to um, answer that for me because, because when he was reaching through that window and when he put his hand on <laughs> Ruth, I thought he was about to molest her. I thought he was about to just fondle all over her goodies, but she wasn't even asleep. Tally wasn't asleep. She made it appear like she was asleep and woke up and grabbed his hand and put it down in her honey pot. And it appeared to look like he was enjoying playing around in her honey pot. Did, did y'all get that feeling or was that just me? I don't know. Le uh, Ruth, she is under the impression that she can get Daikon. We know that she needs to get Daikon on her good side, and she's trying to give up the cookies. She's trying to give up the cookies so that she can get really close to him because she's trying to steal the key so that they can rescue the children from wherever the children are at. So do y'all think, I mean, okay, he had he claims he had sex with, with Lynn. Um, he was up there fondling around with a uh, roof. But he told Ruth, this can't happen because they ain't that way. And when he said they ain't that way, I'm assuming he was talking about the men up there that they don't sleep with the women, which is what Tally had already been saying to Andrew and to, you know, Ruth. So that's why I say it's, 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 it's a lot of confusion because you can't tell... You can't tell if Andrew is still working undercover. You can't tell if he really enjoys being there or not. You can't tell if Daikon likes men and likes women. I mean, <laughs> see, that's why I like reviewing certain shows because I'd be like, okay, if I ain't got the questions, maybe other people who watching the show, you know, got the questions. But anyway, we're going to find out for sure really soon if he enjoys being with women as much as he enjoyed being with men because you know he's enjoying being with the highest and he's actually jealous of Andrew and thinks that the highest is going to leave him or throw him to the wayside, you know, because of Andrew. And I actually think Daikon is a little bit more handsome than Andrew. But then again, I do love me some chocolate men. So, you know, <laughs> if I had to choose between the two, 
nothing against light nothing against light skin men. Light skin is still in. Hell, I'm light skin. I think I'm still in. But anywho, <laughs> anywho, anywho. But uh, Miss Cislo, is you gonna jump on the live? You asked me to drop the link. I dropped the link. Do I need to drop it again? Okay. There's a link. Don't nobody got to jump on the live with me unless you want to. But if you want to jump on the, on the, oh, if you want to be right here, like split the screen with me or something, you know, there's the link if you want to join me. But, but, so we'll find out pretty soon, pretty soon. Um, but as far as, uh, as far as, um, uh, Daikon, when he did go visit Lynn and she snuck out the house while her husband was sleeping. Daikon, he was that's when he was telling Lynn, you didn't really sleep with the highest. Man, when he told her that, I was like perched on the edge of my seat like this. Like, what? So, because remember, we was having that discussion. Like, who did she really sleep with? Because we didn't see the scene. And when she went to her physician, the physician was like, well, it obviously looked like you've been taken advantage of and more than likely by more than one person because she had so many bruises and scratches and so much trauma. She has so much trauma down there. So I, you know, just assumed that, you know, okay, like when they had Ruth in the room with the highest and the highest told all of them to, um, to basically handle Ruth. I'm thinking, okay, maybe it was a line of them. They ran a train on Lynn the same way they did on Ruth. But then Daikon tells her, mm -mm, it wasn't the highest that you slept with because Ruth, she was like, for the last, I don't know how many weeks it's been in their time on the TV show, but Lynn, sorry, Lynn, she been dreaming about Daikon. She been fiending for Daik. I mean, not fiending, but dreaming about, well, okay, okay. She's been fiending about something. This feeling that this aura, this, this euphoric sensation that she's been going through. She's been fiending for that again and trying to figure out what was actually done to her when she was up there. She's been dreaming about Daikon, calling his name out in his sleep. Remember her husband was like when he met her, oh, so you're Daikon. And Daikon was like, you know me? Do I know you? He's like, yeah, no, I, I, your name is around in the streets. No, his name is around his bedroom. But um, he he couldn't say that, you know, because then he would give himself up. But she's been dreaming about Daikon. But she thinks that she slept with the highest. And so he told her, no, 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 no. <laughs> it was me who, you know, had sex with you. But how is it possible for the highest to be penetrating these women, making love to them or whatever you want to call it, with or without their permission, without even touching them? Y'all need to answer that for me. Okay, somebody got to turn us down in the background. Uh, turn it down, guys. Hey, honey bunny. Hey, sis, well, who else we got on here? Yeah, hello, uh, Jewelry Songs. Hi, Jewelry Songs. How are you? Doing just pretty fine. That's wonderful. What do you think about the show so far? Uh, it's been, uh, I really have been anticipating the, the next episode, episode nine. Mm -hmm. When is that going to be out? It just came out today. So when are we going to view it? When are we going to be able to view it? Do you have BET Plus? BET Plus? I'm not sure. Yeah, that's the only way you can view it. I do reviews on the show after the show comes on. So, but I watch it on BET Plus. And it's so how do app. I get on BET Plus? It's an app. You have to get it on your phone. You have to get it on your phone. You have to download the app. It's called BET Plus. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'll do that right away. You, you can get a free trial, I think. Like yeah, yeah, you get you get the first week. Trial. Yep, you get the first week free, and then if you keep okay. it after the first week, then it's nine ninety nine a month. But it's a whole bunch of TV shows and comedy shows and movies and all kind of stuff on there. Yeah. Wow, that's good to know. I'll give it a try. Okay. Um, all right. <laughs> you look beautiful. Thank you. Are you in our Facebook group? No, no, I'm not. Okay, well, I'm going to drop the link to our Facebook group because I want you to join our Facebook group because we be talking about it in there. Okay, okay, that's fine now. 
Okay, I just dropped the link to the Facebook group. Facebook, the Facebook group. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, I'll check it out too. Okay, yes, make sure you request to join the group so I can add you to the group. Okay, that's fine. Thank you so very much. I really okay. do appreciate it. No problem. Good talking to you. Yeah. All right, bye-bye. Well, well, you know what this um TV show reminds me of, right? Right. Don't don't say it. Don't say it, nature boy. Yes. <laughs> that's what I've been telling people. Girl, girl, everything from the highest, the money, the most high, the money, the beating and controlling on women. Changing or bouncing the women back and forth, back, back and forth, and forth. The, sexual, the sexual nature of the whole thing. I've been telling the folks that people been I, like, Who is who is nature boy? I'm like, Y'all better look him up. The only thing is the, the highest in this show wants the kids, exactly. They, Nature Boy don't want nothing to do with no kids, yeah. Nature Boy, he really don't want nothing to do with no kids. The highest. I think the highest has some very evil plans for the kids. For those kids, girl, I was thinking the same thing. And it's probably all going on because I think it's going to come out that not only does he, okay, guys, because I'm do he have a lot of thing, um, businesses that has to do with the sexual nature. Mm -hmm. um, and I think the, the, the little... Uh, what you call the little, um, what do you call them when you get jumped in the, uh, is it initiation? Initiation? A little initiation or whatever. Mm -hmm. They do, you notice how it's all sexual. Mm -hmm. it's like for all these different guys. Mm -hmm. And I think they video all that stuff. I think too. Because yep. And you know I think they use it. Or more than one yeah. thing uh, to make money, and they use it, you know, in case these people try mm -hmm. to say something yep. or whatever. Yep. That they use it to kind of like blackmail them black or, mm -hmm. or to try to disgrace them in some type of a way. Yeah. Yep. And okay. I think it's blackmail for sure because remember when Daikon brought, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, when Daikon brought uh, Sarah. Um, the picture, the photograph of Andrew. Uh -huh. I, I don't know what man he was with in that picture. I'm thinking it might have been the highest, but that's blackmail, and that's probably what they do all the time when they think the wives are trying to get their husbands back, you know, from the cult. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure they got pictures, they got photographs, they got all videotape, all kind of everything, stuff. Everything, everything, and even. <clears throat> Even when it comes down to like the officers and that that mm -hmm. are undercover, um, I think that some of the stuff that they that they they're doing, they're not lawfully required to do as an undercover agent. So I think that's Andrew kind of is, is sucked in. Well, I don't know he it's kind of off an assignment, but he like it. It's something about that. Mm hmm. Well, I hope he don't go too far as far as when it goes to the children. I don't think he's gonna go that far, but I think, he, and I think he playing like, like, like I don't know. I think he kind of playing like he don't really, he ain't really into it. So he don't to keep him from having to participate as much as he can with the sexual part of it. But I think he like that one lady, the one that they beat up. See, that's what I was going to ask you, though. But because when he was talking to Tally and he was trying to convince her to stay and like he loves it there and he don't want to go nowhere. And he, you know, so that's why I'm confused. Like, do he really want to be there? Is he still playing the role? Do you still think he's playing the undercover role? I, at that point, I think the reason why he was probably trying to get her to stay is because as long as she's there, he got eyes on her. Because he know when she leave that she gonna she gonna die, and ultimately right she like the lady did on the train, like the lady who uh supposedly accidentally got ran over by a train that tried yeah. to kill you now. Mm -hmm. But I um, but you know ultimately she did die. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, and uh, Ruth. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying by them 
you know, you see that they die because they play out on a different show. Yeah, on the Oval. Uh, yeah. uh, right. So I think as he was trying to keep her until like they bust this thing, you know, bring it down and mm -hmm. then she could go free. But if, if she were to leave before it got busted by the feds or whatever, you know, mm -hmm. But and the up uh, that's the thing about them getting busted. It's like just the same thing with Nature Boy. They yeah, find little loopholes to get through. They yep. find little loopholes to keep them mm -hmm. going. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Well, what do you think about um? Okay, when Daikon told Lynn um to move up there with with them. And because she wants to get that feeling again that she don't believe Daikon when he said, I slept with you and not the highest. But do you think Lynn is going to run back up there? He talking about just give us all your money so that you could, so that the highest, you know, can keep funding our compound. Do you think Lynn is going to go back up there? Girl, I don't know. I am. <laughs> and, and with this, the way, the way. Tyler Perry thinking, girl, you just never know. I got, I'm like, I wish I could sit down and talk to him because I'm like, what be running through your minds? Because you, while you was running around wearing a dress as Medea, <laughs> I mean, how long has you been contemplating this kind of show? That's what I want. I know he writes all of the show, he does all right. the writing. For all his shows, girl, he making coins. He making coins like crazy. Girl, he dominating his own, and now he 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 has knocked out all other other filming studios because he everything he does he got on his own. Yep, that's yep. how they were able to get back to work because everybody's living on his compound. Exactly. And everybody so, he makes come up there, he makes them deplete their bank accounts so that he can have money. But you know they doing other stuff too. So I think they I think they doing drug trafficking, sex yep, trafficking, yep. kid trafficking, all kind of trafficking up there. And the money that uh the money that the people use that gets um sucked into the coat, I think is kind of just like, you know. It's just helping them to survive because they really only go to like the local store ever so often, you know, once a week. And well, and you there. Check that out. Uh huh. When they went to the store in the um the episode before this new one. Uh huh. When they when the girl uh was talking to the um clerk. Mm hmm. And then the girl came back and said, "I think they gonna. I think he gonna beat her or something." Mm -hmm. because she was talking to him. I think she snipped him a number or something. Right, but I, I, we never found out what happened with the girl. Exactly. Or was that the one? No, that was after the train story, right? Or was that uh, You know, I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember. Did they tell us about the train story? No, I think we already knew about, yeah, we already knew about the train story, so that can't be the same girl. But yeah, we still I, don't know what happened. We still don't know what happened. Her hell, she could be on the train tracks right now. <laughs> girl. For all we know. <laughs> but but I, let's talk about this, Miss Sislo. My next question is: how do you feel about the Sarah and Cynthia and Malcolm storyline? Like Sarah was up there, you know, trying to get console from Cynthia. And Cynthia was up there looking for a shoulder to cry on at the same time from, you know, Sarah, because Cynthia knows that her husband Malcolm is having an affair and the mistress is sitting smack dab in her face, sharing a bottle of wine. With her. So what do you think about that? You know what? I missed the, I got to go back. Girl. And watch the episode with that one. So you just hooked me on something. Girl. You got me. Oh man, yes. why you do that to me? Yes, Cynthia, Cynthia's husband, Malcolm, one of the FBI dudes, he's been having an affair. You remember when he was uh over Lynn's house and he was trying to kiss all over her, and she was like, I'm in love with my husband, I can't do this anymore. He said, Oh, and you wasn't thinking about your husband at, at you know before. 
Girl. And I, yes, and now we know that Cynthia, Malcolm's wife, knows that he's having an affair, but she don't know is with Lynn. Who she's sitting up there drinking wine with and telling her, woe is me, my husband cheating on me story. And and, and Lynn sitting there, I mean, uh, yeah, Lynn sitting there like, um, uh, I, I, I mean, I missed that one, girl. Girl, it, it's a mess. It, it's a, when I tell you, and I, I kept saying Lynn, but I, I meant Sarah. Uh, it, it's a whole mess. It's I'm gonna a, go back and watch it, girl. Now you got me all. You got me all messed up. Now nah. I have to go back and watch that one. You have to go back and watch it. So how far have you gotten? You got. I thought I got all of them, but I missed something. I'm a. I can binge though. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna binge and then go back and watch the new one. Cause if I, I don't, yeah, I, I'm gonna have to binge watch. But cause you got you got me messed up on that one. Yeah, because uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me look at something here. Cause I had read something. Oh, are you in our group? Since so you're not in our group. I, 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 I ain't know you had a, um. Because I'm in the other groups, but I know you had this one. Yes, you're gonna have to click that link in the chat because I dropped the link in the chat to um to uh our Facebook group, our ruthless Facebook group. Okay, well, I'll check it out because you know I, I I follow you everywhere you dang gum go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I know, but you know what? I get down for man, girl. Yeah, let me go. We down. We down. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going to, if, if he's going to find out. I mean, I don't know if they're going to separate <laughs> and Malcolm. Yeah, I'm going uh, I'm to have to go check that out now. Yeah, well, um, make sure you check it out because I don't want to. I don't want to give you no uh, spoilers. Oh, it don't matter, girl. I, I'm. I still watch it. Oh, all right. You know, that kind of stuff don't bother me. You can tell me. You know. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, thanks for jumping on. You know, what? And I still want to see how they did. So, you know, it yeah. don't bother. Yeah, well, I'm about to finish this review. I'm gonna uh, yeah. uh, get ready, finish this review up so I can get ready for our next interview. All right, babe, love you. All right, love you too, hon. Okay, Lord, this show is all this show is all over the place. Again, y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. Because again, um, Cynthia knows that her husband Malcolm is having an affair, but she doesn't know who you know she who he's sleeping with and sarah is sitting right in front of her trying to convince her no no malcolm he's no he's not doing anything he he would never cheat on you and cynthia knows better soon as they got back home it was like he's so frustrated because he don't really want cynthia <laughs> he really don't want cynthia at all he wants sarah so y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Now, I'm going to go to the Facebook group and see if we got some comments on the post that I posted in there. Let's see. Somebody said, oh, somebody said, um, Andrew is a hot mess with Brian. Yeah, they said Andrew is a hot mess. And with Brian, they said, have mercy. <laughs> they said, is he one of them or not? I am confused, shaking my head, real talk. <laughs> and then um, somebody else in the group said, to the kidnapping club, that little girl will never bow to trash like you. I'm like, what? I don't know what that, hold up, to the kidnapping club, that little girl will never bow to trash. I don't understand that comment. Oh, somebody else said, thanks for the ad. Uh, no. Oh, somebody asked, asked, how can they watch Ruthless? Yeah, peoples, peoples, you have to get BET Plus. BET Plus is an app. You can, I don't know. I think you probably can even get it on your smart TV. I don't know. I mainly watch my TV in my bedroom. Um, 
we don't spend a lot of time in the family room watching TV unless company's over. And that's the one with the smart TV. And then my sons all got smart TVs. Yes, I'm the only one who don't have a smart TV in my bedroom. So anyway, I watch it on my phone. I watch it on the app on my phone. So yeah. And as a matter of fact, hold on one second. Let me uh pull it up real quick. I got the hold on. The price. The price for the first week. If you get BET Plus for those of y'all who keep asking, where can you watch uh where can you watch um Ruthless? It's on BET Plus for the first week. I still believe is one week free like a trial period. What I did was when I did the trial period, I watched, um, cause I think at that time, I think only, I think episodes one through three was out and they had released them all at once. So I watched all three episodes like immediately while I had the free trial and I was sucked in. I was sucked in. I was like, uh-huh. Yep. After the, after the week, they just going to charge me. <laughs> So I, I think it's worth it because again, not only do they have uh Ruthless on there, they got a lot of other shows on there. But hold on, hold on. Yes, Sarah is sleeping with Cynthia's man, and Cynthia is, I'm sure she's going to find out real soon. I don't know why I said Lynn earlier. <coughs> Lynn is messing around with Daikon. <laughs> Lynn is messing around with Daikon. Andrew is messing around with Tally and the highest and what other, other men are out there, but Cynthia... And Lynn, okay, let me let me backtrack because I know I, 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 I was saying Lynn at first. But Cynthia, it's Cynthia. Sarah, Cynthia, and Malcolm. What tell me what y'all think about their storyline? Um, again, Sarah, you know, she's up there, you know, trying to get consoled by Cynthia, and Cynthia was trying to get consoled by her. Um, Cynthia is pretty darn sure that her husband Malcolm is having an affair. And when she, I'm like, girl, you didn't catch that. When she said, uh, I wonder where he is right now. And Sarah was like, well, probably sleep. She's like, well, how do you know? <laughs> and Sarah had to fix that real quick. She was like, well, aren't they all usually sleeping by this time? <laughs> I'm like, girl, y'all see some of the some of the acting here and there. I'm like, uh, Tyler. <laughs> but anyway, it seems like karma is a bitch because while Sarah is sleeping with Malcolm, like I said, her man Andrew is up there at the coat getting his back blown out. He's being cleansed. He's been seated by the highest and maybe some of the other men as well. But then again, is karma just for andrew i mean it, it, is andrew getting karma because he cheated on tally and now he's up there getting seated and all planted and all this kind of stuff by the highest and is sarah getting karma for her man sleeping around with other men because she cheated on him with malcolm <laughs> and he's up there sleeping with tally and supposedly got a baby on the way now this is my other big question from what Daikon was saying, uh, whenever any of the men have sex with, I guess, the any of the men or any of the women up there, that they're really sleeping, they're really having a relationship with the highest because they're so spiritual and so powerful and all this kind of stuff that that's why, you know, Lynn thought that she had slept with the highest because the highest is, it don't make sense to me. It don't make sense to me. I'm like, this is way too much. This is way, 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 way too much. Like, how is the highest having sex with them if he ain't touching them and they having sex with the men? But they really having sex with the highest. But anyway, anyway, it's way too much. But I love it. I love it anyway. But now, now, Ruth and Tally. Ruth still believes that she is fully capable enough to get Daikon to have sex with her. And it seems to me like she probably will. Because 
he just told Lynn again that he was the one that had sex with her, even though he claims that any man who has sex with any woman on the compound is really having sex with the highest. But Tally seems to lack faith in Ruth. Ruth was like, girl, now you mean to tell me that you doubt my skills? You doubt my talent? I mean, but but after all, you know, Tally, she looks at Daikon as if, you know, as if he's nothing more than what she call him, a, a beautiful snake, a con artist, a devil, you know, all wrapped up in one. That's how she feels about Daikon. But child, Ruth was like, I ain't studying all that. She, she told Tally, basically, don't you ever, ever forget why they call me ruthless in the streets in the first place. She was like, I don't know what happened to your memory or your recollection. I don't know if they kicked and stomped it out of you when they was molly whopping and monkey stomping all over you. But uh, you please believe me. <laughs> don't forget where I came from. You better check my records, check my profile. And I don't mean Facebook, Tally. So I don't know. Maybe our girl Ruth is going to be able to pull it off and have uh, Daikon eating out the palm of her hands. Y'all let me know. Y'all let me know. But she does believe that she's going to be able to get close enough to Daikon to get that key so that she can rescue the kids and get them all the hell out of Dodge. But then, you know, with Ruth saying all that, how do y'all think it's possible then that old mother you know, that she believes that she can completely trust Ruth now to help her when the highest tells mother that it's finally time for them in the village to take that trip with the help of the Kool-Aid. Can somebody say Jonestown Massacre? Can we say Jim Jones and the Kool-Aid? Now, y'all know in real life, that was a very, very sad story. Jim Jones, he killed over 900 people with his Kool-Aid concoction. Now, I'm assuming that's the same kind of stuff that the highest has in all those jugs that we saw. And it looked like, you know, some kind of juice or punch or Kool-Aid or something. So let's just hope that Ruth really knows what she's doing, because this is like the second or third time we didn't heard the highest say he thinks it's time for all of them to, you know, lead his earth, starting with the children. So again, y'all, y'all make sure y'all let me know how y'all feel about these storylines, about Daikon. Do you think he's really into women and men? Do you think Andrew is still playing the role or has he totally been brainwashed? Um, how do y'all feel about the scene with uh, Malcolm's wife and with Sarah? Um, I have a feeling that Sarah is going to get found out really, really soon. But anyway, y'all let me know how y'all feel about the episode and... Um, about the different storylines and the different characters. Make sure you like this video, share this video, and subscribe to the Hood Table channel. And also, make sure you join our Facebook group for Ruthless. I did put the link in there. It's the Facebook group. Let me put it in there again, just to make sure. So that link that I just dropped in there, that is to our Facebook group. So make sure you go over to Facebook and you hit the join button so you can join our Tyler Perry Roofless fan group. Over there, we be talking about Roofless. You know, we talk about the different storylines, post pictures, all that kind of stuff. And of course, I post the links in there to all my reviews, you know, all my Roofless reviews. So um, two, two uh, Facebook groups I have, the Roofless one, and I also have the Facebook group for the Hood Table. So if you want to join the Hood Table, the link that I already just posted. That was the link to our Ruthless TV show fan group on Facebook. So don't join that link for the Ruthless Facebook group if you're not truly a Ruthless, Ruthless fan because what's the point? But this other link that I'm posting right now, that's for the Hood Table and um, the Facebook group for the Hood Table that I created. It's a private group. So feel free to join one of those two groups, both of those two groups, none of those two groups, you know, whatever you prefer. But anyway, I got to get out of here because if y'all actually are subscribed to my channel and have the bell click to get the uh, notification, then you know that we have a big interview tonight, 8 p.m. part two of the um 
interview with a former uh, church member making misconduct allegations against their former pastor. We did part one last week. We're doing part two tonight. And it's at eight o'clock. It's going to be a good one. Hey, Miss Lady School, make sure you tune in tonight at 8 p.m. if you have nothing better to do. <laughs> And make sure you got your wine and your popcorn or your burr and your popcorn or your tea, your coffee, your milk, whatever you uh whatever your pleasure is. I'm gonna have me something dark and strong for this one. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, I will see y'all at eight o'clock. I got an hour and a half to get well less than that because I gotta call my uh the people that I'm interviewing and the people that's gonna be on the show tonight, call them ahead of time so we can chit chat you know, about the show. But again, eight o'clock tonight is part two of the interview with a former church member making misconduct allegations, spiritual abuse allegations against their former pastor, who is a well-known, um, prominent pastor here in my city. So with that being said, y'all, stay safe. Be blessed, stay healthy, and I'm out. Deuces. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and tune in at 8 o'clock tonight. Central Standard Time. Toodles. See you later, Miss Hogg. I mean, I said Miss Hogg, Miss Cislo. Miss Hogg ain't even in here. That's my other moderator. <laughs> See you later, Miss Cislo. Oh, 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 and I forgot before I let y'all go, before I let y'all go. Um, I did an interview with Miss Cislo, who's my one of my moderators. Miss Cislo, she has a great YouTube channel, but I did an interview with her the other night. Make sure you check that out as well. That's the one with the uh, pastor, ex-pastor's wife, um, telling her story, her uh, spiritual abuse, church hurt story. She was married to a pastor who was getting around the church and even was trying to move women into the house with them. Like, like they gonna have been some sister wives or something going on. I'm like, I thought that only happens in Utah or Colorado or Texas or Idaho. <laughs> but anyway, tune in, check that video out. If y'all want to watch that before y'all chime in to the other show tonight or watch the other show tonight and watch hers later, however you do it. They're both going to be two great shows. Yes, Cislo, Newsworthy Updates. Matter of fact, let me find your link in here. I'm going to let y'all go because I know I'm running short on time, but I'm going to put your link in here, Miss Cislo. Because I want people to subscribe to your channel. <clears throat> Let me see. One thing for sure and two things for certain. I'm always going to promote my uh, moderator's channels. So let's see. Miss Cislo, Newsworthy Update. Okay, the computer stopped moving so slow. Okay, here we go. All righty, I'm dropping your link now, Miss Cislo. This is Miss Cislo's link. That's who I interviewed the other night. Um, it was a really great interview. A really great interview. Very enlightening. So that's her link. If y'all want to uh, subscribe to her channel and help support her channel, um, make sure you support my moderators, please. And thank you because they support me. So I appreciate it. And again, I'm out. I got to get ready for our show tonight at eight o'clock. So, hey, Miss Hogg, there you are. There's my other moderator. Now, Miss Hogg ain't got no channel yet. I don't know what we got to do to get her to get a channel. She's going to get a channel hopefully one day so I can come over and sit on her stoop. <laughs> You still haven't watched the show? Oh, no. Oh, no. Shameful. Just shameful. <laughs> you have to. Did you get the um? Did you get the BET Plus? Because you have to get the BET Plus app. It's free for the first week. And then after that, it's $9.99 a month if you want to keep it. And, of course, you can cancel any time, just like Hulu, Netflix, you know, all them other things. Um, so yeah, we on episode nine now. Y'all need to binge watch. <laughs> but anyway, I gotta get out of here. I keep saying I gotta get out of here. I gotta get ready for my uh for my um oh you recorded it last night, cool. So I gotta get ready for our uh 
interview tonight at eight o'clock. So again, please tune in at eight o'clock. All my moderators, um, if you're available, please um, be in the chat tonight at 8 p.m. for our big interview. Um, all right, please and thank you. See y'all later. Smooches. <laughs>